black. They called us African American. They called us Negro. That's why when you hear them niggas that talk about that more they time did. to the north, I I'm get from it. Florida, bro. I'm so if Florida. they control the pen, meaning they can write whatever yeah, they, they want, and we can control it. our narrative. Yeah. So now you saying, oh, you are African American, you black, bro? What the fuck is black? Like, there's not one nation. Everybody else is Mexican American, uh, something American, Chinese American, but nigga, we're black. They call us African American, but what that really means? They just trying to make us feel like we only come from Africa. When really, like, a uh, lot of your ancestral heritage is right here on this land. So like, basically, bro. you say they write in the narrative for us to think we from Africa. Yeah. They, we go to school yeah. and learn about that shit. They sure, own the sure. But school, like, bro, if, if you really came from Africa, why would they tell you the truth? Why, if Listen, if somebody kidnapped you, and why the fuck would 20 years later would they tell you, hey, I kidnapped you and I made you do all this? Like, why would they tell you that? If, you, if they know you're going to revolt because they want you to believe a false narrative, a false story. No, bro, you didn't. You really didn't come from Africa. Your ancestry is really native to right here. And your, when your grandma is telling you you Indian or some shit, she's really telling you your tribal heritage to America. Like you're indigenous to America. You got close to history here. Uh, and like when you track the came over here, bro, it was crazy. Bro. Like it's, it's so much history. But that's what my YouTube channel really about. Like I'll be speaking on this historical. I, story. I want you to come on my YouTube. I'm gonna say I, I mean, we, we can do it. Late. We can do it later on. We can do it at like 10:30. I, I want do, live bro. stream on my YouTube, and I want you to tell my YouTube this shit. All right, man, that's a that's a blessing, bro. I really appreciate it. Just, yeah, try to remember my good. page, nigga. Screenshot my page. I'm going to remember your page. Uh, Cray ain't going to let me forget it. Yeah, that's my man. You know, we I, I done did a lot of shit, bro. I done robbed. I ain't going to forget Boss Stuff, Benny. I'm trying. We're going we gonna to live stream at 1030. I'm going to send the link to your uh, DM. All right, Slim, just text me the specific topic you want to stick to. Because, you we know, I, I, I'll be all around the board with this shit. Man, I, King, I you can be all around the board. I want, I want to listen. You just hit me. To, That's basically, you crazy, said bro. the history. And you know what's crazy? Because I really learned about all this shit through me going to the DMV. Like, when I went to Waldorf and I was 16, bro. Yeah. Like, I know it's kind of funny, y'all. Like, because I'm from Miami. Like, I'm from the projects of Miami. So I understand when y'all be like, Waldorf is probably like the Dorkville. But that was my first taste of, like, living in the suburbs, bro. Like, I never knew about D.C. and Maryland like that, bro. Like, a lot of people from the South, we don't know about the DMV, bro. Y'all exposed me. And I went through a classic time. Like, when I be thinking back on 2014 to 2016, nigga, that's when Aunt Glizzy was hot, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, but, oh, I'm so awesome. I don't give a fuck about that. I be telling niggas, like, bro, DMV, bro, I don't give a fuck about Atlanta, bro. 